hero falls in Civil War 2 issue 3. In this issue we find out that Bruce Banner has been hiding himself away in a little lab and that he's been testing on himself with dead gamma ray uh, cells, uh, sort of trying to find out if he still is the Hulk or if he has gotten rid of it and if he's safe and everything because he's, re he's really paranoid like he says to Tony that he doesn't know if he is turning into the Hulk and that sometimes he'll wake up and you know rush to put on the news to make sure that he hasn't turned in his sleep and done something terrible so he's a very paranoid man and he's living in this little hut underground in his lab and everything he's really isolated and the all the Avengers every Every Avenger team comes to him uh, because of Ulysses' vision of him hulking out and absolutely killing everyone. And they're there to sort of just make sure he's not going to do anything. And that's when Hawkeye shoots him in the face and kills him. And we find out that Clint was told by Bruce and given a special arrowhead that would kill him uh, if he ever tried to hulk out. He was sort of there as a, um, a deterrent, I guess, like a if if he did Hulk out, there would be someone there who'd be able to stop him and prevent this future from happening. I guess it kind of happened, and with this issue is sort of based around the fact that we've got this trial now of Clint Barton with Matt Murdock grilling him about the murder and everything, and Tony being very, very distraught and upset that one of his best friends has actually been killed. Another one of his best friends has actually been killed in front of him as as well it makes me think that maybe th this is obviously going to be that linchpin that makes him give up being Iron Man but I think that it's at this point that he's probably might even start going back on the booze maybe and because he's got getting really depressed and doesn't want to be a hero anymore and everything and he seems pretty broken and everything we also got a little bit more of the other heroes kind of choosing their sides there's a couple of panels where like Miles Morales and Sam Alexander and everything start sort of deciding on who they want to fight for and they, they both say Iron Man Man. It's just sort of all sort of setting up now and there's going to be a big war coming I think and we're left with a cliffhanger at the end of this issue where Friday has actually mapped or mapped out a little bit and knows a little bit more about Ulysses' power and how it works in his brain. So that's going to be really interesting to find out. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one. I like this one compared to the other two issues. I thought this issue was really great. And it was really drawn really well, this issue. Like, David Marquez's art has been fantastic throughout this series, but this issue really looked good. I, I don't know why. It just, like, everything looked really clean and, like, bright. Just really great. Like, the big vista scene with all the heroes there was really nice. And, uh, yeah, really cool comic. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10.